Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. And welcome to the Forest to Farm Project. So one of our upcoming projects is we have got to get some cover crop on the field we established out by the road, uh, some grass down the drive, and we've got a couple areas that we've cleared along the mm -hmm. fence line and whatnot that we need to get some more cover crop going. We want to plant something that's going to build the soil and uh, buckwheat will probably be one of the main things because it will grow in just about any condition. Hopefully yeah. we can get some clover in there and I don't know what else. Have a smorgasbord of stuff yes. out there. A multi, multi grain <laughs> cover crop. Definitely. Yeah. So today what we're going to be doing is we've purchased the AgriFab disc cultivator and we're going to be doing a build video for you guys to show you what goes into building this. And we just wanted something lightweight to go behind the lawnmower. We don't want to compact everything with the tractor. That's just for our heavy work. So this is a light duty unit to go behind the lawnmower and get the job done. Exactly. We've got a old wheel horse we're going to fix up and then yep. a garden tractor. The garden tractor doesn't have a sleeve hitch. This cultivator does say that it's designed for a sleeve hitch. We're going to hook it up to the garden tractor and pull it around. It's probably not the best thing. That thing is going to... It'll get the job done. We've beat the crap out of that lawnmower anyway. We're yeah. going to rebuild it and paint it orange so it matches our Kubota. It'll be our little baby Kubota. <laughs> yeah. We're going to run it till it falls apart, yeah. which is probably going to happen soon with the way we're running it. It was already falling apart when we got it. Yeah, we it put it back free. together. You can't argue with that. There so, you go. All right, let's get started building. All righty. Well, I'm on light duty because I got a boo-boo on my arm. I don't he know what happened. I'll mess my elbow up in certain ways I move. It hurts. So, so I get to do all the twisting and torquing. He, he gets to read. He's the muscle. I'm the brains. Yeah. I'm a technician here today. <laughs> he's a supervisor. There you go. That's it. We're on to building. Let's build one of those. Burgers. So that's we don't in the need way. the tray and we don't need the hitch part. So I will move that stuff out of the way. Yep. And pardon the cluttered shop. It's going to be nice when we get moved and have an actual shop to work out of. I'm thinking 40 by 60. <laughs> At least. Yeah. It'll fill up quick. So we need a bolt. Exactly. Number one, hex bolt. Number two, big fat washer. Gimme. Number three. Now, the assembly of this, when you go on into this next page and it tells you how to put these, we're going to build two disc sets. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be able to be adjusted with this slot and this slot. And you can turn them this way or that way to give it a different angle to make it more aggressive or less aggressive. The straighter the blades are, the less aggressive they are. If you're pulling them at an angle, now it's plowing. So, you know, more or less aggressive. You build these regardless of which direction you're going to put them on that plate that he set over there. Mm -hmm. They build the exact same way. So don't get confused when you get over here. Because I looked at it at first. I'm like, oh, crap. We don't know which way we want to do it. All you do is unbolt this bracket with all this assembled, turn it around, and you've got, you've got the other the angle. Way. So very, simple. very simple setup. So they build exactly the same on page in this book. Page five. Page five, figure one. So let's get to building. We go to building. So wait a minute. You got. I've got big bolt, washer. Bolt dotted bolt, line washer. washer. Oh, you got the washer. Disc. Now, you know how many washers do we have? Give me a spacer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There's sixteen with eight. Yeah, there's got to be two apiece. All right. It stands nicely for you, as you can see. So you need I another spacer, washer. Another washer. Another blade. Another blade. Another washer and a spacer. Huh? This is this is next. Oh yeah, washer. That. And then we need this guy. Wait. And it goes with the L up. The bearing sleeve goes in here, doesn't it? Wowzer. Make sure the bearing sleeve goes inside this big guy. Yeah, and you notice there's a grease fitting. Yes, After there are you've grease got, fittings on here so you can grease it up when you get it set. And when you've got it assembled. And it's just a bushing, but the grease is going to squish out them holes. It's going to make it ride mm -hmm. good so now, it doesn't wear fast. Need another washer. Correct. And then another I blade. Need another blade. Another washer, another sleeve, another washer. No, not a sleeve. That's a spacer. Yeah, that too, a spacer. Don't tell people the wrong thing. <laughs> Bad boy. Give me a blade. I don't want to. I'm on the injured list. Yeah, you are. Give me another washer. How many washers do you want? And now I Wait need a... a... It's, it's actually three-quarter nuts. There's two two hex nuts. So you double... 
double nut it and lock them. They didn't put a lock nut on this. I yep. would have thought you'd have a lock nut on we it. We may be replacing this with lock nuts before it's over on the end. Well, if they stay on there, we're good, but we'll you see. You say that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? What? Um, tighten the first hex nut and then tighten the second hex nut to against first. That's what I thought. Yeah. You I want, just, so wait. Ah, pinches the skin. You might want to leave that off because I don't know what we got to get on there, but it'll be easier to get it on there. Yes. Is this the one and eight? Let's see. Yeah. No, the, the one and eighth is on this end. That's a three quarter. That is a one and eighth. And we're yeah. not going to be able to get in there very good with a yep. ratchet like we can there. Daddy man going to hold this. You turn. Oh, big boy. Big boy wrench. We bought that for something. I don't remember what, but we was like, you know what? We're going to have a farm. This. We're going to need You're big on the stuff. List. Yeah, I always, when I get hurt, I don't allow myself to heal. So we're trying to make me do that because we got a lot of work coming up. Yes, we do. <clears throat> I don't think it's bad to see either a torn tendon or a fractured socket. <laughs> it's something like something. that. I think that's probably that's good enough. That's probably pretty tight. Oh, wait a minute. This is still freewheeling. This slides yeah. back and forth. Now, we put the other nut on here. You didn't really need to pick it up. I guess it makes it easier, it makes it easier for me to put it on there. And it's lightweight to me, mm -hmm. so why not? You still got to put that wrench on the other end. Yep. You big dummy. <laughs> As, uh, Ooh, that's loud. You know what? What? Hold on a second. His uh, OCD kicked in, and he wants to... No. Straighten them all out. I am going to straighten them all out. <laughs> uh, that might be hard to do because that thing's turning. Yeah, it's not going to. Hold on. I bet. Hold on. Go up a little more. Oh, right there. Let's see what happens. We'll get all these lined up anyway. Okay. What I'm trying to do here, and it might be crazy. If you got this thing riding on the ground, and both of these, or all four of them are lined up, same thing lined up, you can see this is dropping down, picking up dropping down a little bit and it's going to grab and all the corners will grab at once if we have these randomly on there and they're not lined up like such it's like a wheel it's just going to ride on top of everything mm -hmm. so you're going to get more of a dig but i don't know if we can make that thing stay in place we do our best to make it stay straight and we'll just get it snug it don't have to be super tight yes it does well if it's not real tight it's go they're going to spin anyway yeah it's going to go all over there's no way you're going to root and everything oh well that's probably <sighs> probably tight yeah you know what getting good and tight Less now chance. let me put the other note on here water getting in there and dirt You know, put arm down there. Mm. That baby's not going anywhere. She's on there. Assembled. All right, that's one unit. That's Would have been done a lot sooner, but he wanted to straighten them up, which makes sense. So, so if this was on the on the right side, your left side of the disc, we'd hook it up, you know, this way. And if if we wanted to throw the stuff in. Or we spin it around. Show them. I don't want to pick it yeah, up. Yeah, we want to throw the dirt out. Now we throw it out. This way, and the dirt's going to go that way. So that's what I was talking about earlier. In this diagram. Let's set this one down. Uh, four and five, it tells you to build these. You might think, uh-oh, do I want them in or out? It could get confusing. You act like you've done this before. Shh, don't tell anybody. Look at you. You're on the ball. This is so easy. Yep, there we go. Now remember, this one turns with the thing towards the nut end, yep. towards the dished end. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of myself, aren't I? A little bit. There. Is that? There. <laughs> Look at that. Oops. Nope. <laughs> yep. It was, yeah. Put it on there. Washer. I got a washer. Oh, up here. Hey, look at that. Yeah, big dummy. All right. And Put the nut on it. I got it. You don't need to be spinning. Like I said, you don't need to be spinning. Okay. Let's get this. You got to be a little more clear. And get these lined up where you want them. Yes. Again, I'm anal about things. I want it all these lined up because that way they're going to be cutting at the same time. Better chance they'll go down into the ground a little bit. That's I think. it. Me thinks. You thinks. Yeah, this one wants to spin on you. Yep, hold on. Ah, 
beautiful. Scusi, padre. Oh, no, you're going to hurt Daddy Man's arm. You can't Look do out. it that way. That's getting pretty tight. Let's go up that mm. far. There you go. A little tighter. No. I like to overdo things. Yeah. Well, that's a big old three-quarter bolt, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you're hurting my hand. That's good. Okay. That's tight, man. Now, Put drop the other, other one on there. there. I'm having to do this left-handed. So. Yeah. Locky, then, locky. We just tighten this up. The second nut locks into the first nut to hopefully secure it so it doesn't come apart. That's something you'd want to check out and make sure that over time these don't come loose. Mm -hmm. That's why I see us putting a lock nut on the end of these eventually. Or drill a hole right through there you and stick pin a it. cotter key through there. Yep. Okay, so both of these are assembled. Now we need to bring the tray up here. And for our purposes, we're going to throw the dirt out. It doesn't really matter because we're just busting up dirt. Yeah, we're just doing cover crops so, and establishing so grass. Um, we're actually going to have to bring the tray up here and build this and put it on the tray first. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, everything left is half inch by inch and a half carriage bolts. Oh, no, oh nope. There's some itty bitty ones here. Yep. Those are like, I don't know. Five sixteenths or something. So oh, and we got a square head there too. I mean a hex head. This is gonna go just like this. Actually, like this. Yep. And this one's gonna drop in to these two holes here. So you got the so bracket comes uphill. Here. Yeah. Bracket comes up and here. And that bolt's part on the bottom. Has a square hole in it, and this has a square top shoulder the, bolt, the shoulder yeah. so that drops in and it won't spin so give me two of these bad boys now we use uh lock nuts yes the appropriate size you can't get it wrong because yeah these, these little ones are not going to go on what it. size is this that ain't going to go on it what the, the nut yeah what size nut is that i can use a socket yep it's a three quarter is it yep so good deal Makes life a little easier. And it's got that shoulder bolt, so. Helps to have the ratchet in the right direction. Yeah. That's why they call it a ratchet. I have moments every now and then. Could have brought my new ratcheting wrench that you bought me for Christmas. Could have done that. <clears throat> nice we have set. tools galore, but to ha have, have him have tools in the house was non-existent. He bought me a toolbox and he's bought me some screwdrivers. It's really easy to get him gifts for Christmas now because he always needs sockets, tools for the house toolbox. Ratchets and pliers and all kind of goodies. You know it. These are locking nuts, so they're probably not going to come loose. Once you ooh, get them tight. There we go. Man, don't be scratching the paint on my new tractor Trust me, toy. It's going to get scratched. So now that's assembled. Okay. Up next. We need to put the plate on here. Yes. So we need another one of these bolts. Now, this nut. plate assembly, there's two options. When you get over here in this manual on page six, there is potential of, you notice you have a connecting point here and back here. So what this is going to do is allow you to... Uh, let's see, you can do tandem on. units. If right. you want to have one throwing dirt out, one throwing dirt in, you can attach the front of the second unit to the back of this unit. This is the back. So you would drop it in here, throw your pin in, and you're set up. So if you had another one of these hooked up to another disc set, mm -hmm. this would go in there and pin it in there. So tandem, you know, two yeah. <laughs> for dummies like me. That's it. This will go just like this. And again, it has the square holes, so the bolt drops right down in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I need the other bolt. He's going to get hurt when the camera goes off. No, I'm not. Because I'll run screaming to mommy. <laughs> Ooh, if, if this thing slips, I'm going to go. Yeah. It's 
stop because I might catch my arm on that bolt. Ooh, that would be ugly, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd look like your leg did when you hit that drain. Yep. Move this upper arm, please. <laughs> yes, sir, because it's hurting anyway. Thank you. Oops. Okay. So. Good job, little guy. Thank you. That is assembled. That's good enough. It'll work. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just drag it. <laughs> it's supper like time. That. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> that ought to me. work. Just put that down and plow, huh? That'll work. So now we got these little guys that go on there, two on each. Oh yeah, that's what holds the. So I'm gonna set this out of the way. The diskies on there. What size is this? Is that a, hold this up? Yes, sir. Thank you. I think this is. That's that size. That's that size. <laughs> Uh oh. 916. I'm in big trouble. Okay, back to the build. Back to the build. I dropped one of these little guys and we had to find it. Yeah. <laughs> so, this could be the difficult part getting these balanced up. Hmm. And you want to get them lined up with these holes. We're going to start on the outer. Can you the reach in here? In the outer. Here, 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 here. How about if we lay this down? And then reach in there and stick the bolt. Nah. Where's the bolt? Which one you want in there? I'll hold I need, it. They're over there. Oh. No, they're... Okay. Yeah. yeah four are. of those small ones. What are we going to go? The inside ones? Middle and outside. Outside? Well, yeah. then you'll have a big gap in the middle, won't you? Okay. Let's go. see how close they... I mean, that picture, they can end up touching each other. Mm -hmm. Do we want that or we want to be one over? You're going to overlap when you're driving. So, I say... Middle We're going to go around and around and around and right. back around. So, so middle yeah. and outside. Give us a little more. Yeah. There you go. Put it there. You we need put, the other one too. You going to do them both at the same time? Yeah. Oh, see what happens? Give me that. Thank you. And then I got to hold two in there at once. No, you don't. Because I'm going to do this. Get the other two in there. Oh, that's all too much to line up all at once. Never. Man. I'll get yours in set first. How's that look? Confusing. <laughs> Hold it right there. Let me I'm not this. worried about, oh, you can get the nut started. Well, might as well, that way we don't have to fight with it. Why do you want to go and be practical and sensible and all yeah. that good stuff? You got the other lock nuts? Yes, right there? Okay. Okay, hold on. Got it. Pick that up. I'm good. What kind of spacing do you want on these? Well, we've I, got them both all the way in. I'd say that's good for now because okay. there's still a good size gap there, you know? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to get cut. Gloves would be an excellent thing to have right now. Ah, oh, there's a pair laying right here somewhere. I'm right sure there. 20 pair in here, but I'll be fine. Leather gloves right over there. Yep. Yeah, wear leather gloves when you're doing this because this is dangerous, all these edges. <laughs> Get them Don't leather do gloves. What we do. Get them leather gloves. If you slip, you're gonna be bleeding. If I slip, you're gonna be bleeding too. Let's roll this forward a little bit. Mm. Right there. Because I need to be able to get this wrench in the groove. Now, one thing, you're tightening that up and we don't know what angle you have that at. It's the same as yours. No. Oh, I'm gonna move that one in just like this. It's all no, the no, way no, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. You also can turn this that way and that way. There are slots. See, oh, you can do slide. that way. We wouldn't want to be that aggressive. Straight is non-aggressive. I was, I'm all the way to the front. Which direction? See, okay. that's going to make it really aggressive. I'll loosen it up and slide. Well, we can try it if it's killing the tractor. You know. I'll loosen it up because that tractor's already. We're already running a <laughs> mess out of it. <laughs> oh. You want to go straight for now? Yeah, let's keep it fairly straight and we'll see what it does. We'll, we're Starters. probably going to make it more aggressive than that, but we'll go easy and get harder. Yeah, for starters, take it easy and see how it does, how it reacts to what we're doing. You can tilt these things back this way and make it really plowing into the dirt, or you can tilt them more straight with this and it rolls across the ground and barely does any cutting. We're going to start, you know, go easy on the lawnmower and Go straight <clears throat> and see what that does for us. Yep. If it breaks the clods up, we'll we'll go with it. 
we're probably going to have to go in there and take the tractor and our new box blade. I'm going to raise this up. You slide it that way. Okay, there we go. Now I'll tilt it this way so it's straight. I'm going to do it. It's still, you know, okay. there's like 10, 15, and 20 degrees. Is yeah. Said. So you just kind of, you're either straight and it's 10, somewhere in the middle is 15, and the rest of the way is 20. And I just thought of something that would make this a lot easier if this were flipped upside down. That's what I said earlier. It would mount so much easier. You can just hold Look them bolts in and you big dummy. It happens. We all have our moments. Yeah. I like to work harder and not smarter. Now we got to put grease in these holes. Do yep. we want to do that now? Sure. Grease gun's right behind us. That's Get it all over the shop. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, this is for a one-armed man. Yeah. One of these days we might eventually get the Milwaukee grease gun. It's battery powered. All you do is squeeze the trigger and it pumps the grease in for you. They're amazing. Okay, as you can see, it's assembled, spins nicely. Greased. It's greased up well, and I think it's going to work out for us. Yeah, this is some heavy stock. It's solid. Yeah, it's a lot more solid than we thought it'd be. These braces are solid. This piece welded down here, it's solid. I was afraid that we were going to have some flex in this, but I don't think we will. I think it's going to do good. However, these blade discs, they're not super heavy duty. When you look around, you can find these for 180 to $220. It's not a super heavy duty unit, but it'll get light work done. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be behind a lawnmower, so. You'll get a, a first-hand review of people that really work stuff hard, so. Yeah, we're definitely well, gonna put it to the test. We're yeah. gonna load this thing up with some cement blocks, about six feet high, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 400 pounds. It says you can put up to 100 pounds on it, so right. we'll see what happens. So that probably means 200. Yeah. <laughs> you can stand on the back. Hey, we can do that. And be like a chariot. Yeah, boy. And I'll throw my whip around your neck and hang on. When I get the wheel horse going, it'll be like a chariot. There you go. We'll, we'll build a little chariot thing out of like wicker and stuff, and you can set on the top of it. <laughs> that would be funny. Obviously, you've got some interesting stuff coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. But. That's about it. It wasn't too difficult to put together. Like I said, you know, these are just straightforward. Washer, blade, washer, sleeve, washer, blade, washer, uh, no, spacer, and then sleeve, and then same thing. So, yeah, nothing to it. Pretty straightforward. It comes with a registration card. We always send these in. We are religious about sending these in. We have never sent in a registration card. <laughs> we bought a hundred things that require it. At least. Or All of our camera gear, everything, reports. we've never registered anything. So we, yeah. we might actually try to register this. Pack. You know, if you fold these things, they make excellent little airplanes. Yeah, they do. They're great for starting fires, too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. Okay. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, it was a semi-quick, painless build for you. Hopefully, we entertained you a little bit. The AgriFab Disc Cultivator. That's it. So you, These here, again, I'm going to show you something real quick. You can take them bolts out pick them up mm -hmm. turn them around set them back down and then these cups are currently cupped this way throwing the dirt out you can spin them around and it'll throw the dirt in so yep. there would be different reasons that you would want to kind of heal the dirt up with it if you're gardening or whatnot there's a lot of different things we're not going to garden we're going to prepare fields for crops i mean uh <laughs> cover crops and uh mainly want to get grass buckwheat that kind of thing growing and yeah and then grass along the drive we don't want to till the yard and destroy everything so we're just gonna work it up a little bit and right. throw some seed out so it's, it's pretty loose soil already so yeah it'll work all right be sure to hit that subscribe button below hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications when we post new videos give us that big thumbs up if you like what you see uh comment share it with your friends and check back off and we got a lot coming guys and hope to see you soon